Hey, I'm in space already. Damn. <laughs> Starring Tatsuo, Joji, Hokiro, and Ken. Oh, Nobu. Hmm. So is this going to be a super violent porn cartoon? <laughs> the English version done by Bellucci Productions. Ja, of course. Makes sense. <laughs> H.O. Scale Japan. Japan by Marx. Oh, ma, tempura again. We love cram school, father. Okay, okay, okay. Two Italian guys dodge mushrooms thrown by a monkey, huh? I don't know. Isn't that great? As soon as you get your rocket ship completed, you'll be able to fly around in outer space. I'd be afraid to go out there. Hmm? Wouldn't you be afraid, Susie? Oh, yes. <laughs> Mickey, what do you say to watch television? The World Championships tonight. All right, but first of I want to look at the new telescope you got, all right? Yes, excuse me, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Mickey. Put on your upsetting Don't shorts. Forget, Wally will be coming by to pick you up in a few minutes. Oh, he's never on time anyways. Forget it. Here, Mickey. I'll leave an apple here for you, Kimmy. Thank you. It's just wonderful what your friend Wally has done for these children. Yes, he doesn't have a very easy oh. time of it, I imagine, playing both mother and father to a couple of orphans. <laughs> but he does it well. Yes, they're very happy with him, as you can see. And he's even started to teach them how to earn their own money. Mm -hmm. More squid eyes? Ah, uh -huh, here he is now. <laughs> I hope my kids haven't been giving you much trouble. Of course not. We love having them. Won't you just stand over there? Come over here and sit down. Come on, Mickey. Let's go in and watch the championship fight. All right, if you want to. Well, son, we were all just talking about you. You were? Something nice, I hope. About the way you take care of the children. You ever feed them? We agreed you were doing a marvelous job. Yes. Oh, well, it's really nothing. I'm trying to do my best. <laughs> I just wish I could teach them something besides boot blacking. What's the matter with boot blacking? We both like it very much, right, Kimmy? Sure. So shut up about boot blacking. This new rocket fuel of yours has astounded the whole world. You haven't heard the latest. The first cosmic exploration rocket will be launched from this space. The dining room? No. Come, come, my space. boy. You know you're a tremendous help to me in the laboratory. And your friend Dr. Cummings of America was also a great help. And Susie's brother also deserves some of the credit. By the way, he's coming back tomorrow. Oh, that's nice. Hey, what's that supposed to be? That's a commercial. It couldn't be. They're not selling anything. You want to bet it's a commercial? They're probably selling some new toys. We like it very much. It looks like a real rocket ship. Attention, ship. people of Earth. What's going Attention, on Attention, people of Earth. This is Crankor Exploration Force speaking. Crankor? Do not be alarmed. <laughs> Stand by for an important message. Stand by for an important message. Veterans cannot be Crankor. turned down. The ancient name of the dark planet. I can't believe they're showing Dennis Franz's butt. That ship must be in outer space. That's a toy I wouldn't mind having. I like it very much. Attention, <laughs> people of Earth. Pacock. I am Ambassador Phantom from the planet Crankor. We are here again. I am rapidly approaching your planet in the warship <laughs> which you have just <laughs> seen. That's good. It's overloading every channel. What a powerful beam he must have. Thank you. Look at that modulation. I will arrive tomorrow night at precisely 8 o'clock. At that time, I will make my wishes known to you. Bark. You will obey them or die. Bark. Have a pleasant night's sleep. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Crankor, nothing to worry about. Truman Capote sent to fight Crankor. Hey, this is Jerry Little Porter. Hey, Wally. What is it, Beef? Hot off the press. Thanks. Where are you going? Professor Mackin's giving a press conference. He's supposed to know what these spacemen want. He might know how we can fight them off, too. Yeah, he's got a whole bunch of firecrackers left over from last year. Maybe we can use them. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, we're late now. Goodbye. Goodbye, Goodbye. Goodbye unfunny weird man. <laughs> he seems like a real jerk. Hey, Wally. I bet you're afraid of those spacemen. Of course I am. What for? You aren't going to be much help if you get frightened as easy as that. I'm not here. Walter Mondale arrives. Come on, fellas, shake a leg. We're late. I have to swing in for some violent porn comics. Where is he? Oh, here he comes now. Good morning, Good morning Professor. It's the Subway Fondler Club. Good morning, gentlemen. Welcome to my grandma's living room. Well, now, 
Do you have any questions? Yes, Professor. What about these spacemen, sir? Do we expect them to attempt to land here? Yes. L let me explain. You know, gentlemen, we have developed a powerful new rocket fuel. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Now, for reasons which must remain classified, mm -hmm. we believe their visit has something to do with this discovery. Wait mm -hmm. a minute, Professor. These people are obviously much more advanced than we are. What could they possibly want from us? Yes, they've already achieved interplanetary space travel. That's more than we have, sir. <sighs> it seems that you're right, at least about the space travel. In another respect, in the question of fuel, their technology lags far behind ours. Now, if they were capable of producing a rocket fuel like mine, why, they could send a hundred ships to Earth instead of one. They could conquer the entire world in a week. Thank you very much, and goodbye. The goodbye. Japanese Don Knotts. Oh, Jerry, there you are. Jerry, baby. Very baby. good story, both of you. I'm giving you bylines on the front page. Oh, I hope there'll be someone around to read it. We've just come from the war office. They're declaring a general alert. Oh, a general alert. Does it affect my bow tie? This must be serious. They're going to try to land here? Well, it's not official, but they're heading this way for sure. Is that right? Mm -hmm. They're coming here, then. You're fascinating. Gentlemen, this may be our last day on Earth. Let's hit the karaoke bar. Mm. A rare Godzilla-free day. This is Metropolitan Police speaking. Metropolitan Police speaking. All persons are warned to stay off the streets. All persons are warned to stay off the streets. Paging Mr. Herman. Civil defense personnel report to their stations. Civil defense personnel report to their stations. Come on! All others take shelter. All other persons take shelter. Do not panic. Follow instructions. You will not get hurt. Regional control reporting. All metropolitan sections are on red alert. Repeat, all metropolitan sections are on red alert. Over and out. Stop looking at us. Mind your own business. <laughs> I wonder where Wally is. He said he would come tonight. Uh-huh. He's got some stones to mess with me. <laughs> Monet and parrots. A ruffle rule. Bahawa. After the dog. Where is a rough hall? <laughs> One minute to eight. Is your watch right? Yeah. Listen. Here they come. Is his watch right? We may never know. Come on. Yeah. Can you see anything? The Sony blimp. There, look over there. It's cheap trick. Surrender, Dorothy. Same goes for you, Paris. <laughs> Pagoda of the Damned. An alien race too proud to ask for directions. My baby sunhead and smock will protect me. <laughs> Protect me, Japanese Fabian. Chief. What? I've just got a report about some strange electrical disturbance out near Beaver Falls. You did? Beaver you better get out there right away and take a photographer with you. Oh, let me go too, Chief, all right? Mm? Yeah. Go, you bizarre little man. <laughs> well, consider yourself conquered. I gotta go. Beaver Falls Control here, UFO descending in area 220. All right, let's go. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's go. Yes. Oh, here, here we, we go, go off to Beaver Falls, Beaver Falls, Beaver Falls. Beaver Falls. Here we go off to Beaver Falls so early in the morning. I burnt my tofu. Something over there. Right. Maintain radio contact with headquarters. Right. Ah, the Stanley Cup has invaded Earth. Hmm. Aliens come here right now. Now wait. It's a periscope. Deploy your men around it right. I am the lemon zester of destruction. Bok choy. Wasabi. Hey, there's a Blackens car! That's a lot more interesting than a spaceship. A car! Look, he brought his kids with him. Hey, Professor Mackin, you're just in time. The spaceship just landed over here. Yes, I know. 
Well, what's going on? Who's in charge here? The commissioner himself, but he's up there investigating. Oh, I see. Oh, no. Sir, no. Sir, your office called. You know that. David Byrne. Uh, hello. <laughs> hello. 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 Oh. Uh, what hello? message speaks the drums? Junior samples and business boy. What's the matter with you, Mickey? This might be dangerous. I'm not afraid. If you are, go on home. Wait, those are two separate ideas. <laughs> yeah. What? Oh. It's a giant watermelon. Gallagher's taking over. Oh. oh. Forward. Okay, good luck, sir. Let me know what happened. Oh, you want me to go with you? <laughs> I saw some smoke. It's time for lunch. Look at this tree. Look, it destroyed them completely. Except for their salad bowls. Men of Earth, this is my first warning. Do not attempt to come near or you will be destroyed. Obey my orders. You are warned. That is one crafty parking meter. Good Lord. Get back to the car. Notify the defense ministry. Right. Remember to crack a window. Huh? Oh, hi, Dave. You here, too? I'm not afraid I'm wearing a tie. You go home. Inspector! Inspector! <laughs> Where are you? What happened? Inspector! Look, Commissioner. This is his gun. Follow me! Wet him if you got him. Take cover! It's dangerous! Radio car! Get the defense ministry, quick! What, what happened over there? there? Police what force was attacked! Some kind of a death ray! Death hmm? death ray. What's that over there? Look! Oh, oh no! Oh, 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 oh. Hey, what's that? Looks like a flying saucer. That well, looks more like an upside-down flying wheelbarrow with a stupa on top, but I guess it could be... Oh, it's Buddy the Spaceship. <laughs> Holy Santa, pray for us. Ah, made you duck. What is that thing you go home hats are good? Hello. Grown-ups of the corn. Mitch Gaylord. <laughs> What's that, a man? Mm-hmm. Yeah, believe it or not, yep. <laughs> the king approacheth. Phantom of Crankor. Hear my words. I warn you to leave this planet. You are not wanted here. I warn you for the last time. And by the last, I mean first. I have no powers, but I can skip reasonably well. <laughs> oh? Your weapons are useless against me, Phantom. You are merely exhausting your energy supply. You must leave the Earth at once. All right, let me talk Who to him. Who are you? Get him on the televisor, quick! But I'm spinning my salad. It is enough that I know you. You are Phantom of Crankor, and you wish to rule the universe. He's gonna get grass stains on his dance skin. You are planning now to destroy the whole world. I won't let you go through with this. You will not get what you've come for. You might as well leave now. But who are you? Tell me, who are you? What's your name? I am Prince of Space. Uh, <laughs> wait a moment. Larry, we got anything on this Prince of Space guy? Powered by rotted fish, I will defeat you. My contact is bothering me. Captain, look at the atom machine. The plutonium is going critical, sir. <laughs> Keep shooting. You will overload your power supply. <laughs> I have to place the launch order, sir. He's you? right. We better quit. We won't have enough power to get back. Right. We'd better give up now. Shall I prepare for takeoff, sir? Make it for Grok. Before I can easily defeat them, I must get away. Bob! Hey, Mickey, let's get back with the others now. All right. And by the way, you're so fine. Hey, Mickey. They're taking off. Get them out of here. Get clear of the rocket blast. Everybody, get back. Back to your three by five apartments, men. A stand of cedars. A spaceship is taking off, and I am tired. It's a haiku. That's nice. Thank you. Into my modified piss helmet. <laughs> Get the emergency reserve power working. Yes, sir. I'm going to kill this Prince of Space if it's the last thing I do. There goes a narwhal. 
So what's he escorting them to the county line? <laughs> Bob says I have to wear this in space because it's cold. Be ready to shoot, sir. Stand by to fire. Let him get a little closer. We can't miss. He's prince of watching his space cushion. <laughs> Good spaceship and a good close shave. I'm going to turn on the air. Anybody mind? 20,000 leagues above the sea. Wow. An exchange of deadly negative scratches. Uh, Why don't we take lunch now? Still coming on. Uh, it's a pretty good war, but I'm going to swing it around. Yeah. You there. Discharge the caustic papers. Yeah, look who's talking. <laughs> Engage the musical saw. It's a cloud of fish oil. <laughs> Is that Ron? Hmm. You know, if the aliens got new spark plugs, they get a lot better mileage. I see that their ship totally let one. Japanese are frantically trying to pick up singled out. Humiliating game shows are beamed across the nation. Gentlemen, as you are aware, our national territory was invaded by an enemy last night. Bingo here. He was able to Bingo. paralyze our radar stations and move at will through our national skies. Mm. He was eventually mm. driven off single-handed by the pilot of an unidentified flying saucer. I'm Bingo! All we know is that this pilot calls himself Prince of Space. But as to who he is, where he has come from, or why he's fought our enemy, we have no information. Ba -ba -ba we do know, however, <laughs> that after the battle, the flying saucer was seen returning to this area, and we believe it is still in this area now. Hi! Hello, late this morning, huh? Last night, what happened to you? Last night? Oh, an old friend asked me to go out to dinner. Hey, Wally, you missed it. I saw Prince of Space <laughs> last night. He chased away like the spaceman. Like that kid. Oh? Here's the whole story right here. You can read in this morning's paper. Listen, Wally, do you think that Prince of Space really comes from a star? I guess so. Thank you. We're not. <laughs> what do you think? The Prince of Space might just be a man like Wally? Woody Allen well, asked me out. In a way, he is, if you think about it. After all, I believe in peace, too. Oh. I'd be willing to fight this phantom character, same way as he did. Hi, you wouldn't fight him. You're too scared. Are we going to work at all today? I'm going now. Going where? Over to Johnny's house. I made him mm. promise to keep watching the yeah, telescope. Maybe Johnny's the house. phantom will come back here again. I like it very Maybe much. You stay with Wally. Uh -huh. Sorghum, nature's rich bounty, helping the war effort. Still lagging behind, Crow, huh? <laughs> Shut up. You know, a scare me would really help things out here. <laughs> oh, scare me. It's a sealy, posturepedic cornfield. Oh, those Heaven's Gate people were supposed to meet us here. We have to chop the silage and then get to the invasion. Today's lotto numbers are seven. Careful now. This microwave search will help us locate that prince. Mm -hmm. We'll find him. That miserable scum. He stole my cup. He must be around here someplace, <laughs> I'm sure. And when I find him, I'm going to kill him myself. Uh, I was actually signed up to do that, sir. No. Oh, here he is. Don't. 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 Location four and a half miles northwest of here. Sensitivity 7.2. Oh. Inside a concrete building. Uh, oh. Strong oh. iron reaction. Can, can I move this thing? Thanks. <laughs> that puts him near Mackin's laboratory. Hey, see if you can get it on the televisor. Hey. Yes, sir. <laughs> Luxury retirement compounds. Right over there, sir. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm back from break. Anything shaking? All right. <laughs> Let's go get him. Break out the underground tank. Ran the underpants for a change. <laughs> Attention below there. Oh, Prepare the underground man. tank. Coordinate 6, oh, 2, oh, and point oh, 0.5. Oh, oh, Four and a half oh. miles northwest of here. What gets into some civilizations? Pretty small cubicles. I've been watching all morning. Why? But it's no use. Why not? I think he only comes around at night. Why? 
He's evil, and evil people always come around at night. Nobody's watching, they even come in the daytime. Although when evil people are mating, they will appear at dawn sometimes. I'm Hard Rock. I'm Coco. I'm Joe. Hey, look, there's some funny people. They're crawling out of a hole. Really? Give me that. Abner, come look. Do we have to go? What are we, a bunch of women or? <laughs> hey, that looks like that spaceman. Remember the other night? You're right. We'll go see. Come on. I have a trial at three. Let's go. Take these, will you? Wait, where are you going now? We're going to spy on those spacemen. They're in the old factory. What? <laughs> We've filled our pants, sir. <laughs> Ready? And mince, 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 mince. This isn't where we parked. Oh, yeah, up a level. Come on. <laughs> the Gabe Kaplan Brigade. Aha. And now the real reason we came here. Refurbishing old buildings and selling them as affordable condominiums. Hmm? Ah. Aha. Mm -hmm. They had cats, so... <laughs> Raceway Park! You came. I've been expecting you. I came, yes. <laughs> and now I'm going to kill you. <laughs> oh. Just how do you propose to do that? Your ray guns will have no effect on me or my ship. I've told you that already. Hold on, I'm getting a Dodgers game here. <laughs> you better leave this planet in peace. I warned you once before. Kill him! Come on, little buddy. Where did he go? He disappeared. No, in here. He must be here. He's gone. The coward, he ran away. Looking for me? Uh, yeah, we are. Hi. I'm not running away. No, I want to stay because I'm going to prevent you from getting Dr. Mackin's formula. Kill him! Would you guys just listen? Your guns don't work! Some of you go that way. Ah. Don't let him get away. No! Ah. Bring the laser cannon. The prince is there. Yeah, he must be fighting with that phantom. Somebody left a perfectly good refrigerator over there. <laughs> Here's the laser cannon, sir. Good. We can't find him, sir. Listen, show yourself. Otherwise, we're going to kill some different. Kill some different? I hear you. Come in here. I'm waiting for you. Leave the children alone. You hear that, Jerry Seinfeld? <laughs> You cannot harm them anyway, as long as I am here. You need a ladder? <laughs> I've got you now, you scum. <laughs> you scum? Where'd, that, where'd that come from? <laughs> this is the end for you. You jerk! You'll be a horrible example for anyone who opposes me. A really horrible example, because no one else will ever be scared of him. <laughs> 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 I told you. Your weapons have no effect on me. It is my considered advice that you discontinue your use of said weapon. <laughs> <laughs> See? You are scum! <laughs> I'll throw my doll at you. Let's go! Teeny weeny away! Nice waist. You go that way. You know, this is where your cram school experience really comes in handy. Huh? We have to get back to boot blacking. We like it very much. Empirical data suggests the accuracy of my earlier contention that your weapons against me are without merit. Ha ha! Ooh, ouchie, 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 ouchie. Ooh, ouchie. Oh, oh. And the tension is thwarted. <laughs> Please, call me the artist. Did you get hurt? Are you both all right? Yes, Prince. <laughs> oh, boy, you beat up that phantom pretty good. Yes. You don't want to kill him, though. Listen, the police are coming. We'd better go now. Right. It was so chilly, I brought my shawl. <laughs> Johnny, listen to me. I want to give you something. Keep it with you always. If you ever need me again, just turn the dial. Understand? I'll turn the dial. If you need me. We won't tell anybody about this. 
Agreed? Yes. All right. Goodbye now. <laughs> Who are we going to tell first? <laughs> hey, there's the commissioner. Pete Roselle? <laughs> wow, tap dogs. Look, there's the kid. Hey, Mickey. Commissioner. Commissioner. Well, children, what's going on? Prince of Space and Phantom, they were fighting. Phantom got beat up and ran away. What did you say? The Prince of Space? The one who wears the <laughs> flying saucer. Yeah. The one you saw last night? Yeah, that's right. And he was here today? Yeah, right, Johnny? Mm-hmm. Good job not telling, we're kids. We're telling the truth. He even spoke. Well, you know what he said? Yeah, he said the spaceman came here to Earth to steal that the Mac and new rocket fuel. Hey, the big Goomba's gonna take the fuel. Look at this. Terry got my gun dirty. <laughs> Oh, uh, one of those spacemen was using that. One of those spacemen? Chief, one of those spacemen. the building is empty. Uh, they all got away, huh? Come on, your father's worried about you. All right. Take over, all right? Yeah, all right, whatever. Mm. Wow, it's a really modern Lutheran church. They're going to pop in here for some sushi burritos. Dr. Sangerman. What is it, boys? Please, sir. Are you going to go ahead with the test? Of course we are. Everything's ready, doctor. Good. You kids want to swab out the particle accelerator? Oh, listen, boys. I think you'd be better off at home. There's no danger, of course, but we don't want to take any chances, right? Kids. If this phantom shows up, these soldiers aren't going to be much good. Yeah. I wish Prince of Space was here with us. Did you bring the dial with you? Why, sure. Why don't we call him with it, then? We're not in any trouble, really, but we don't want to take any chances. <laughs> what the hell happened to my pants? What the... I'm going to tell him it was your idea. Mm-hmm. So if we get busted, it's your ass. Mm -hmm. ah! You're a handsome woman. Oh, Lawrence, sorry. what was that noise? Did you hear a noise? Mm-hmm. I only hear the turban. I see. Look at him, the phantom. Ha-ha, <laughs> <laughs> the little troublemakers, huh? When chickens we'll attack. You, all right. Help, help, help. Uh, goodbye. I'm retiring and moving to Florida. Well, this is a great day for us. Jimmy Osmond. The day is less great now. For some reason, it doesn't work on hats. Who are you? What do you want? You know what I want? No rocket fuel. Those soldiers who are standing there are good examples of what my ray guns can do, Professor. So don't try my patience. But do try my homemade griddle cakes. Well, are you going to talk, or do you want me to start with the children? There's a safe over here. Boy. Get moving. I thought you said you were going to start with the children. Mars, put guards on the door. Yes, sir. Mars? <laughs> no, oh, don't, don't give it to him, Dad. No, 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 no. Didn't they consider taking over one of the Earth's good nations? <laughs> well, what are you waiting for? I want that safe open. Oh, sorry. I'm a little out of it. I stayed up and watched Letterman last night. Please, I start cram school at 3 a.m. <laughs> If I can only reach this dried squid. Oh, the secret armoire. Oops, my doorknob. <laughs> uh, this is what I want. The abstract of uh, deed on your uh, lake property. <laughs> Give me that remote. Help us, friend. Allow me to reference my earlier codicil on how your weapons are ineffective. Enough. <laughs> There's no use firing. Your guns won't work against me. Have I mentioned that? And Phantom, give the bag back to the doctor. <laughs> ah, what a bunch of crap. Take him! <laughs> well, they all have knee goiters. Oh, 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 Stand clear, boys. Oh, 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 move on, Johnny. You're going with me. One move and he dies. No! Let the boy go. Take the formula. Let the boy go. So, am I your hostage? Should I go? Oh. Aha, I guess. <laughs> Medical Center, starring Evil Knievel. <laughs> they were supposed to meet me here in the saucer. <laughs> Air Crankor. <laughs> oh, Crankor blew up a potential tackler on the 40, and now there's nothing but daylight. <laughs> Your invasion is like a poorly planned bank heist. Come on. Ooh, you just opened up a whole can of jellied whoop-ass, pal. Yeah. You know, I'll never go by a switching station without thinking of this scene. 
Your guns are useless, but scare the crap out of me anyway. There's trouble at the Church of the Bomb. So you gonna let me invade your planet now? Huh? No. No, not that. Don't touch. You can't use the phone. It doesn't dial out. Don't touch it. Help! Help! The easily bamboozled Prince of Space. Stop him! Meanwhile, at a car wash in Yokohama. All right, that's fine. It's fine. We got fire insurance. It's all right. Never even had time to tell Houston that they had a problem. So, oh, the inanity. Oh, the Japanity. Oh, that's a shame. Dr. Markin, Dr. Markin, how horrible. He blew oh. up the ship. Yeah. Look, there they go now. People looking, very Spielbergian. Oh, the Prince of Space. He's going after them. Yes, I am Prince of Space, and I am going after them. And his companion, Duke of Puddles. He sent us some cinnamon rolls. There's the icing, and uh, the dough is usually under the icing here. Okay, let's see here. Uh, Dear Japan, bite me. Love, Prince of Space. Is that the formula after I chase these invaders home? Sign, Prince of Space. In the meantime, there may be many more horrible deaths. Um, Tora? Your attention, please. Your Red Arrow flight from San Francisco will land at International Airport in 15 minutes. Please observe the no-smoking sign when it is lit. Thank you. Man, what an ugly bunch of kids. They yours? Doctor, I think you dropped this photograph. Oh, thank you. That's your sister, isn't it? She'd never forgive you if you lost it. Yeah, uh, don't talk to me anymore, right? <laughs> A giant roast turkey! Look, do you want the window seat? Hey, that lady got extra peanuts. Yeah, she got the whole can, too. Tora, 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 ba 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 be boom da 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 Tora. You want me, sir? Ah, Captain Manakata, come in, please. I understand you're stuffed with cheese. I want you to investigate the disappearance of civilian aircraft. You understand? Yes, sir. About ten minutes ago, our radio contact with the plane was interrupted. And Who's talking? My radar. <laughs> At the time, it must have been approaching Point Were Barrow. Were you voices? Point Barrow. We believe so. I'll go immediately. Or Thursday. <laughs> Monacata. Be careful. Yes, sir. I will. Love you. Baker Tower from Dog Charlie 22. Come Wolf, in. Wolf, over. Baker Tower here. Go ahead. Altitude 10,000 feet. Point Barrow dead ahead. Nothing in view. We'll circle and investigate. Over. Roger, over and out. I am a wasp, over. <laughs> hey, it's Stevie Wonder. Isn't she lovely? Isn't she wonderful? It, huh? Um, <laughs> what? Baker Tower! Baker Tower! I, I can't move! I can't move! Oh, oh, wait, sorry, I can move. I just forgot how for a second. Dog Charlie. Dog Charlie, what's the matter? Hello, Dog Charlie. Come in, please. What's the matter? Can you read me? I I can't move. My instruments... <laughs> my <laughs> instruments are going haywire. My violin, my tuba what's haywire. The <laughs> what's the matter? The controls are locked. Monacata, what's the matter? This, this is the matter! <laughs> Pilot is teething. <laughs> a black dragon ship! A black dragon! What? What do you mean, what? Monacata, what do you say? What? Ah! Ah, I hit my knee on the dashboard! Wow! Hurts. There is dog hair all over the car. Why do you think that is, hmm? Ah, oh, good evening, Professor. Good evening. And then all the notes that you asked me to take at the conference last week. Mm. I'm sure you'll find everything in order, Doctor. Mm -hmm. Oh, if you did it, I'm sure I will. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Hey, Dad! Dad, wait! Wait, Dad! Secretary of Children. Oh, John, did you have a good day at school, son? 
Yes, I did. I wanted to talk to you. Where are you going? To the defense ministry. Will you be back soon? No, because I loathe you. Not before your bedtime, I'm afraid. Oh, gee, Dad. I want to talk to you about these invaders from outer space. He's putting his cigarette out on him. I oh. theory about them. Well, let's talk about it tomorrow morning at breakfast, huh? Um, how come you're so old, Dad? Did you have me when you were, like, oh. 60 or something? Oh, I'm afraid I'm a bit late for this conference. Major Mercury will be worried. Will you call him and tell him I'm on my way? Oh, certainly. Goodbye, Doctor. Bye, Dad. And don't forget our theory. Well, goodbye, people I seem to share a house with. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm sorry the Mackey has not yet arrived. Hmm? But, Major, what could have happened to him? Whoa. It's not oh. like Mackin at all to be oh. this late for an appointment. Oh. Gentlemen, I'm quite alarmed about this. Dr. Mackin may be in trouble. Oh. In any case, we can do nothing without him. Oh. The police may be able to determine his whereabouts. Major Murky, with your permission, Murky? I will attend to this matter immediately. <laughs> Very good, Captain. Go ahead. Yes. Gentlemen, I suggest a half-hour recess while the Captain recess! notifies... Recess! Wow. The earth is so smooth, it must have had derm abrasion. Oh. Mm. Sounds like the Earth needs new brake pads. Let's see how things are going. Okay, we'll check it out. Come on, move it, short stuff. I'm moving, I'm moving. <laughs> move it, Don't trip. push, I'm fine. Yes. Oh. It says employees must wash hands before returning to invasion. <laughs> mm. <gasps> A mummified Elf Landon. Good morning, honey. Professor Mackin, welcome aboard. Who, who, who are you? Come, come, Professor. Permit me to introduce myself. They call me Phantom of Krang Corps. But you seem startled, Professor. Sit down, relax. Hey, Z7, suck it in. <laughs> Is this a dream? Where am I? Oh. You want to know where you are? No, I want to know hog futures. Of course I want to know where I, I am. I aboard my flagship. Halfway between your world and Crankor. How did you bring me here? For a man of your intelligence, a full explanation would be necessary. Oh. But we have no time for that, Professor. Hey. Ooh, what about my chauffeur? Huh? Come now, my <laughs> dear Professor. What a silly question. <laughs> Do you expect me to keep track of your worthless servants? Mm -hmm. We blasted him out of an airlock, so by now he may have fallen into a star. Ah, 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 ah. Wow, that guy nuttier than a Stucky's log. Well, I suppose that you expect me to help you with your evil plans. Yeah, would you mind? Thanks. That is precisely why I gave orders to take you aboard. I will show you much here that only you can appreciate. Mm. For example, how I propose to control the universe. <laughs> yeah. And when you have seen all this, so cute. you will realize how futile so it is for you or anyone else to oppose me. Fine, just go light on the probes. Making no progress at all. It's incredible how accurate this is at depicting space. Some people call me Space Cowboy. Yeah. Hey, look at that. Oh. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I got distracted. Huh? Oh. Well, up there's the kids' playroom, hey, and we're gonna... You know. Hey, Chief, we got that flying saucer on the televisor. He's coming up fast to stern. What? What? <laughs> Get him back to his quarters under guard. Right, sir. Come on, you. Oh, speed. Oh. Come on, I said. Huh? It's the instant miso soup bower, starring... <laughs> Ah, it's him, all right. Saying it is me will have no effect on me. Aha. Uh -huh. It's a flying rotary nose hair clipper. I've got him right where I want him. Somewhere in space. <laughs> Don't look at my butt. Now he dies. Just want to test some batteries here first, though. Aha, uh -huh. and they stay crunchy in milk. Hmm. Swing me over there, trusty string. He's in the wiener mobile. Oh no. He lost control of his fried egg. Enough. Right there. Oh. He's 
finished. Look at, look at and that. The body oh, follow oh, right don't. Through a shower of meteorites. <laughs> I have to tell Fang about that, huh? They're landing on Captain Picard's head. Well, it's the planet where sea monkeys come from. <laughs> Wow! Look at that! Look at that! It's a trip to Mike's subconscious. It's pretty accurate, I gotta admit. It's a DQ planet. Dress to the right stuff. <laughs> chief, 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 chief. Shall I put Mac in with the others? Of course not. Mm. Bring him to the Great Hall, right, sir? And prepare to return to Earth, right, sir? Uh, didn't we just get back from Earth, sir? Mm. Sir, do we have a plan or? So, crack corn all around then, gentlemen? I have a special job for you. Yes, sir. I want you to find that Prince of Space. Prince of Space? <laughs> you heard me right. Prince of Space. He may have possibly escaped destruction when we pass through that meteorite shower. Prince of Space, sir? I must have positive proof that he is finished. Prince of Space, sir. He may make some foolish attempt to rescue our prisoners and disrupt my plans for the Earth. Uh, sir, no, I was going to ask you if I should bring this to the lab. Don't. Oh. The last we saw of his ship, it was falling away toward Earth. He may possibly have been able to return to his base. Prince of Space? Have a base there? I don't know. Of course, he must have a base somewhere. That's right. He must have one there, and I want you to find it. I'll find it all right. I can promise you that. You'd better take the X radar with you to help you find him. Isha will give you the formula for his wavelength. You. Fight me. Accompany him. Right, sir. Install the X radar in one of the ground cars of the Earthlings and comb the city for him. Uh -huh. He is bound to be disguised, of course, perhaps as a civilian. But if it's properly set up, the X-Radar will find him easily. Huh? Oh, well. And when you find him, report to me. And above all, keep track of him. I prefer to deal personally with him. And if you don't find him, don't bother to come back. Right, sir. We go to obey your orders. Dismissed. First, we have to go to the bathroom. Professor Mackin is waiting for you in the Great Hall. Always quarter to three here at Crankor's place. Good. <laughs> You, bring in the others and put them up on the stage. Yes, sir. I'm ashamed of my talk show. <laughs> Great hall designed by the Lego Corporation. Well, we don't have as big a turnout as we expected tonight, so if we could all just move down to the first few rows. At ease, men. I mean, man. <laughs> Professor Mackin, I want to bid you welcome oh, 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 oh. to the planet of Crang oh. And to my home. You must have seen a lot from the window of my flagship. The castle cut from the living rock. My giant guardian and so forth. What not and what happened? I have many more wonders to show you. Sure. And I have even brought some friends of yours to share this experience with you. Can I get more coffee over here, please? Book and Mr. Mooney's. All my rowdy friends. Dr. Fletcher. Oh, Mackin. I'm scared. <laughs> oh, are you all right? Oh, Professor. I forgot to water your plants. Uh. Lucille! Dr. Cummings! Yes, and his assistant, Professor Coy. Lucille. Oh, I'm so sorry about this, Dr. Cummings. And here is Professor Noiriette from the Soviet Institute. Lucille. Oh. Uh, Mrs. Carmichael. If you don't mind, gentlemen, we have much to discuss. Oh. Please sit down. Please. No, really, please. Sit down. There. So they're alien except for their Chippendale furniture. Sorry I'm late. Cat threw up this morning. Hi. <laughs> Very good. You sit well. Everyone I need seems to be here. I appreciate your coming, gentlemen. I am honored to find myself in the company of five of the most advanced minds of Earth. Please make yourselves comfortable. Until they arrive. While I explain my plan. <laughs> Plans in which you gentlemen play a very important part. <laughs> I have to leave early. <laughs> you can't. This is impossible. Be silent. I am dictator of Crankor. I assure you that the word impossible is a word which for me does not exist. Although I just said it. Now, first of all, Professor Mackin, I've arranged an interesting show for you. I trust that you will find it quite instructive. Go ahead. Lean forward. Why that? 
Well, it's my house. Oh. So it is. You are quite right, Professor Mackin. Your house. You win this round. And it's half a million Earth miles from here. But it's on the bus line. <laughs> oh, Johnny. They slammed the iron gate on me at cram school again today. Samuel Barber's Adagio for Young Japanese Children. <laughs> Let's go. Well, I'm sure this little scene is leading somewhere, if you'll all be patient. Now watch as we turn the lawn sprinklers on our little Johnny. Here's the Japanese Suzanne Plachette. Jeez, my life is really boring. Well, gentlemen, oh. what do you think of that? What? I, I just got better. Yeah. Nothing you do on Earth can be hidden from me. I've watched all of your secrets from here. You see, I've been watching you for a long time now. He knows about the porn. And I knew right where to find you when I wanted to. So you know about my rash? That's an impressive toy, but first of all, I demand to know why you brought us here. Grab some bench, Lumpy. You demand nothing. You will merely obey my instructions. Mm. Take your place and remain silent while I explain why you were brought here. Mm. You five men five. are among the top scientists of Earth. Your governments respect your opinions. Thus, you men are well equipped to evaluate my power. You know I can exterminate the world anytime I want to. I want you to explain this to your people. Impress upon them how useless it would be to oppose me. You will tell them I demand their surrender. You. Fight me. You, each and every one of you. Fight me. No, I won't. It's out of the question. I won't. I will never betray my people. I refuse. Categorically. No, I will never be your tool. None of us will. Agreed. Of course, we agree. I'll do it. Apparently, you gentlemen are upset. I will give you a chance to think it over, calmly. After all, you are men of science. Eh. We are leaving to attack your world in 12 hours. Oh, God. Oh. With your cooperation or without it, oh. I am going to attack. I shall destroy one of your major cities first. Afterward, I'm sure you will cooperate. <laughs> Starts really not in, is it? No. Uh, it's a young one, ship. It's kind of hard to go into warp drive when you're burning so much oil. <laughs> Professor, may I? Thank you. You must eat something. Do you feel all right? Oh, don't light a match is all I'll say. The poor man suffers so. I'm from the 19th century. What does he want with me? <laughs> Bad news all out of curly fries. The chief wants you. In the worst way. We were just about to begin eating. You eat later. And me. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter, you? Isn't our food good enough for you? Uh. Go on your feet, you. Uh, uh, the man's sick. Leave him alone, can't you? On your feet, you. But he's a sick man. Oh, he waved his stinky foot at me. Oh, need this. Here, I tell you. Oh. Ah, Mr. Bond. Bah. Ah, good morning, gentlemen. You slept well, I hope. Yes, in my double-breasted sleeping suit and tie. Tell him how we were about to eat. Listen. I speak for my colleagues as well as myself. It is impossible to agree to your demands. What? We are only men of science. We can explain to our people the state of your technology, but we cannot accept responsibility for making political decisions. Who's talking? I understand. <laughs> Again. Though I cannot comprehend the civilization where intelligent men like yourselves Hello? are not permitted to guide the destinies of their people. Very well, then. You agree to describe our technology, and you will do it so well that even your government heads will realize the hopelessness of opposing me. All righty, then. You'll make the necessary arrangements, then, to send this back to Earth? No need of that. You can broadcast your message directly from here. That means that we... That's right. You may expect to remain with us for some time. Uh, I guess. Until you have assisted me with all my plans. Bryce, when will I see you again, Bryce? <laughs> I'm gonna mess you up. Mm. Beautiful, just beautiful. Mm. The Cabrini Green of Japan. Is this just a really slow chase scene with one car? What are we driving through plutonium? Or? It's Garbo. Hey, wake up! Be careful. I don't think the chief would like it if he knew you were sleeping on the job. 
Hey, wake up. Your egg is hatching. What is it? That's better. You heard anything from the flagship? From the chief? As soon as they pass through the meteor zone. All right, stay awake. Yeah, blow it out, your gizzard. Nothing new. We better get some kind of a lead on that prince before the chief gets here. Sure is funny how he disappeared without a trace. His car, too. Get out of the, the way! Have been looking for him, I know. <laughs> but they don't know anything. The commissioner told me they figure it must have been the spacemen. I guess so. It's the only explanation. Hold it! My slurpee spilled. Pick up something? Uh-huh. <laughs> I just got a reading on the meter. Okay, right foot. All right. Don't work so fast. Ever gonna stop farting? Is that even a remote possibility? That's close enough. Cut in the automatic search. Well, no more got shelled again last night. Get back to work or you're back out on the street. That's him. <laughs> it's a shoe shine boy. Put it on the beam. Right. <laughs> Attention, X radar gives Wee. very high reading of 98 on Shoe Shine Boy. Tune it in properly. Just wiggle it around. Check, please. Would you mind if I paid you in Tic Tacs? <laughs> so our Prince of Space is disguised as a miserable boot black. Clever. We never would have picked him up without the X-Radar. Mm. Attention, Earth Patrol. This is your commander speaking personally to you. Regardless. Now that you have found this Prince of Space, be careful and keep him in sight at all times. Careful, he'll try to sell you shoelaces with your shine. You heard what he said. Yeah, whatever. Can I just learn to read and then I'll come back to work? I got a boot black down at the track. Yep, big boot blacking thing going on. Hey, boot black, congratulations. When do you do? Mr. Tannen. Hey, Mr. Tannen. Get out of my wine. You forgot this. You're getting absent minded. Be healed. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I hate that bastard. <laughs> you uh, carry boot black journal? Yeah. Ah, here it is Little Baby Sun Hats Monthly. <laughs> Scalpel. What happened? He ran away. He came back. <laughs> it's all right now. No, oh, wait. He ran away again. Attention. Earth Patrol. Attention. Huh? We Close will ups. arrive over the city in 30 seconds. You better clean this place up. Report any suspicious movements when we appear in the sky. I had a suspicious movement after breakfast. Right. <laughs> oh, okay. Take her down. Oh, right, sir. Full descent. To 500 feet. Set whole friars to stun. <laughs> the upper half of a hopper painting. <laughs> oh, a giant roast chicken. It is brown on the outside, tender and juicy on the inside. It is not fermented, pickled, or raw. Run. Oh. Potatoes are stuffing. <laughs> when I was Japanese, it was a very good year. Oh. Ice dams! We have ice dams! It may not be relevant, but did you know that Gamera is a friend to children? Gamera? Ah, he's made of turtle meat, right? Yes, he is really neat. I like that very much. <laughs> Sir, they called us weenies. Sir, we are ready with the all-wave transmitter. Nah. Uh, sir, you left an egg on the chair. Give me the microphone. Put Professor Mackin on the screen. The camera loves him. Attention, people of Earth, I have an important announcement to make. One that you've been waiting for a long time. Yeah. Up here with me, I have the famous Professor Mackin. Mm. A name you all recognize, oh. who has agreed to speak to you oh. on my behalf. Go ahead, Professor. Hey, the Japanese Sylvia Plath. For the past 24 hours, I and several of my colleagues had been captives aboard the flagship of the person who just spoke, the dictator of Krankor. For most of that time, <laughs> oh. we have been 
captive witnesses of a state of military technology capable of destroying any of the great metropolitan centers of Earth. In order to demonstrate his power, the dictator intends to wipe out one of our cities at noon tomorrow. The only way to prevent this is for all nations and all the governments of this planet to agree to accept his terms for unconditional surrender. People of Earth, listen to me. You have only one response to make. Bomb the idol! Bomb the idol? Very good. <laughs> Put him back in his quarters. Get him some tights. <laughs> Put me on the screen. Ranger. Uh, come on. This way. Get going. All right. As you can see, your professor is indisposed. So I will address you personally. Daddy, this is fine. I'm Phantom Dictator. Go faster. <laughs> Raise your hands if you'd like to go faster. My blanket. And as Professor Mackin has told you, if I so wished, I could at this very moment wipe your entire city off the map. Turn to full house. I could do the same to New York, Paris, Rome, Berlin, Moscow. All of your great metropolitan centers. Pop, pop you can do music. nothing to stop me. For I have completely paralyzed all of your primitive defense measures. Your radar cannot find me. Your fastest jet planes would be destroyed the moment they approach my headquarters. What the hell is this? So you are wise to keep your <laughs> warplanes grounded and listen to me oh. quietly and calmly. Movie? I have come to offer you a oh. choice between peace or extermination. If you do not accept my demand for unconditional oh. surrender, I will destroy oh. you. But if you accept me willingly as your ruler, your entire planet will enter upon a period of peace and prosperity such as it has never known in all its recorded history. Okay, we give in. You have 24 hours to make your wishes known to me. Yeah. I will return tomorrow. Yeah. You will tell me then whether you prefer to surrender <laughs> or die. <laughs> oh, and we need worms. <laughs> it's going to rain giblets on us. The Prince of Indecision. Wally, come on, let's get out of here, Wally, come on. Well, back into the fartmobile. <laughs> I still like boot blacking very much. Come on, slave labor. I mean, kids, kids. Prince is walking away. We'll follow him. Go on, follow him. Stay with him. Don't let him out of your sight. But above all, don't let him know you are following. I will be there tonight, and I want to be able to take him at once. You never get the feeling Crankor is just winging it. Oh, yeah. We'll go to a land where we are free to boot black. My egg is crowning. I wonder how far he's going to walk. Until we stop following him. Never mind the jokes. Sorry for my zaniness. They're going into the house. I am going to boot black in my room. Kimmy, don't eat off the jellied squid. Cram it, world. at last. Good boy, Mickey. Gonna feed the bird, huh? What difference does it make? That mean dictator's gonna burn us all up anyhow. And what Prince's face is, he's the only one who can help us. <laughs> Don't worry, Mickey. He'll surely help us out. You think so? Of course he will. He always came before, right? Didn't he, Mickey? Oh, I think he's gone away and forgotten about us. The bird left a letter of resignation. Hey! Leave 50 cuddle bones under the bridge or I start spotting your car. It's for me. <laughs> Dear Mickey, go to Johnny's house right away with your sister. Sign, mm -hmm. Princess Space. Hey, Wally, what do you think about that? <laughs> Let's do what the note says, Mickey. No, wait a minute. Who could put a note like this up in a cage? <laughs> Never mind that. Get a move on. <laughs> what? You want to do what the note says, right? Right. Yeah. Come on. Let's go. Whoa. All right. Goodbye, Wally. Don't worry about us. Go on with your dinner. Hurry, Kimmy. Come on. It's I great. You hurry. I love that kid. Wow. Finally, an evening alone together. Oh, no. we got chickens. <laughs> I don't want to be Prince of Space. Wait, where are you going? Come back and let us capture you. <laughs> 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 
exotic locations like Normandale Community College. The chief is on his way to meet us. What are we going to do? Just keep the radio beam going. Bah. Prince of hauling ass. Oh, oh, we fire! Well, his sights are pulling about 60 yards to the left there. <laughs> I brought grub worms for everyone. After him, that way. Deploy your tiny whippers only if necessary. Maybe they just came to this planet to serve the guy a subpoena. Maybe not. Even in death, they're stacked on top of each other. Prince of Space! I was thinking it was going to be Fritz Mondale, but of course it's Prince of Space. Hold your fire! You guys look ridiculous! Your weapons are useless. Let's try oh, bare hands man. now. <laughs> <laughs> Pile and Prince of Space! His power apparently lies in his choosing incompetent enemies. <laughs> the Mertzes are here. We're saved. The Bob's here. I gotta go. Oh, hi, Cherry, huh? You again. <laughs> yes, it's me. <laughs> I've come to finish you off. What a vicious cycle. I figure he'll get bored and die, and then I will rule. <laughs> now even I'm beginning to doubt my powers. <laughs> <laughs> you see? How many times do I have to demonstrate to you? Your guns are worthless against me. Infinite. Nah. Come closer. I'm close enough. Thank you anyway. The stench of your foul breath is more than my stomach can stand. <laughs> wow. Chief, let's go. Get away. Fire. Fire. Oh. Sorry, sir. You do have bad breath. Now. I feel good all under. Oh, boy. Hey, hey, wait up. I need a ride. I didn't mean that about your breath. Come on. In the stern window, that flying saucer. It's Mir limping into a service station. What do we do? Get them out of here. Put them in their quarters. Do it. All right. Back to your room. Chickens are too stupid to mutiny. <laughs> <laughs> My chest-mounted soap dish will help me. What are we going to do, Chief? That tin can will never survive another trip through the meteor zone. Oh. But just to make sure, prepare the caustic vapor. Oh. You okay? Yeah. Oh, He's heading right for the center. Those meteorites will pound them to pieces in a few minutes. <laughs> yep, I'm the man. All right. I think we've seen the last of him. He'll never come out of that alive. Give everyone four hours off. <laughs> this morning we'll return to Sir, did you forget something when you got dressed this morning? Oh, oh, put oh. no. <laughs> Planet International Falls. Oh, here he is again! Is he just ignoring the fact they have a giant out there? Your USC losers! Just in case, tell the giant he'd better keep awake tonight. Huh? You never know. <laughs> he might get through those meteorites. Bring those earthlings into the Great Hall. Right. Well, time for our daily empty threat session. <laughs> Granker will be with you in a few moments. Uh, appointment's kind of backed up today. You can have a seat there. Sit down. Hey, sit down. <laughs> sit down, I told you. Come on, this is getting embarrassing. Hey, what do I have to do? I told you to sit down. Oh, he knocked him slightly off balance. Ah, this must be reported to Amnesty International or the USDA. <laughs> Maybe you'll listen to me now. Chickens are a cruel people. <clears throat> okay, who called this meeting? Uh, I, I didn't. didn't. I don't know. Here we go. See you. Whoa. Whoa! Get the DeSoto started. Hey, what's that? A rocket? <gasps> oh. Oh no, it's just duct work. Okay. Oh, 
Crankor is Mary, Queen of Scots. Taxi. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead on three. Oh! Oh. <laughs> oh, please, not this. Anything but an old Star Trek set. Here, you see Crankor, oh. a part of my domain which no man has ever seen. It is the last thing which you will see in this life. So, how are you guys? What do you mean? What do you mean by that? What? Look! What's that? Cecil Fielder! <laughs> you see that? What the devil is that? It's the monster which guards this place. You hear that? A monster. A monster? monster. Quite right, my dear Macon. A monster which I created. He obeys my slightest command. Like, wander around aimlessly and gain weight. <laughs> yeah. The Guardian has moved into position. All persons are warned to stay clear of him. Very good. Give yourself a star. Now, gentlemen, your time has come. Prepare to leave, Crankor. What's that? Prepare to leave. <laughs> Each of you will enter a space capsule. What? <laughs> Each of you will enter a space capsule! see here. It'll be sealed up. Each one of you, in turn, will then blast off and What's travel that? far, far out what in the it? furthest reaches of the galaxy. Come again? Your course will be selected at random. What? And will ultimately be determined by oh. the celestial bodies near which you pass. What do you say? Those of you who are fortunate will fall into a star. Oh. How's that? Your agony will be horrible, but it will be brief. Beg pardon? The first rocket will be manned by Dr. Mackin. You know, wouldn't it be cheaper and quicker to just bludgeon them right here? <laughs> Efficiency. No. Oh. Oh. Why, Dr. Mackin, you surprised me. I thought you were a total puss. You look so glum. After all, you preferred not to surrender. <laughs> hey, 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 don't moon me over there. Hey. <laughs> yep, agonizing death, no doubt about it. Yeah. <laughs> Sir, we only have two ships. Can we double up? What? The Prince of Space. He's coming! <gasps> Prince Whoa. of Space! Prince of Space is coming! Tickets at all Ticketmaster outlets. Oh, there he is! I'll be right with you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What a fool. He's defeated us numerous times. What makes him think he can do it again? The ah. Guardian will make mincemeat out of him. He'll smash that miserable fool once and for all. What? In the land of Dairy Queen. We're closed. <laughs> He looks like a welder who has fainting spells. <laughs> Ross Perot. This is starting to be kind of a weird movie. Mm. Yeah. Ah. Oh, he kills with an enormous air burp. Um, what was that supposed to do? <laughs> it's Pat. <laughs> I take a look at the manual here. It's giants. Ah, big ear and matronly giants, page 12. Mrs. Robinson, are you trying to seduce me? <laughs> Bless you. Hmm? What? Shh. Huh? No, not today. Some monsters just should not wear belts. <laughs> oh, he's a yam with features. He's gonna ultra bright him to death. What would you say if I sang out a tune? Now I'll circle in and get at some of that plaque. <laughs> Attention, gunners. Blast him with every available battery. Automatic track and fire. Okay, a little of this, a little of that. Let's try to touch this over here. Oh, is this worth a ha <laughs> No, I'll save it. <laughs> well, I guess. <laughs> so much for that Prince of Space. Nothing, not even he, can resist the devastating effect of my thorium bombs. What? Now, let's get on with our ceremony, eh? <laughs> oh, thanks. Does he realize how forced it sounds? <laughs> Oh, those eggs. <laughs> All right, Mackin. You're first. Get a move on. 
Now we isolate our first contestant in a soundproof booth. Another beer here. Back to my dry goods stores. <laughs> you know, seeing these guys, it's hard to believe human beings ever have sex. <gasps> oh. He wasn't killed. What? Mm, hello. Prince of Space, you're still alive, are you? Of course I am. Uh -huh. And I will keep fighting <laughs> to protect the people who call upon me to save them from your domination. Blast him! <laughs> I didn't say blast, I said rest him. Rest Listen, him. Is that the door? I call upon you to surrender, to release these earthlings, to return them to wherever you took them from, and to cease your evil plotting once and for all. You can't see me. <laughs> Come out, Professor. Prince of Space! It's Michael Jeter. Of course it's Prince of Space! <laughs> oh, our collective headaches. Mousetrap! You, turn off the reserve power. Right. Switch on the heating current to that griddle. Right. Now that I've got him, I'm gonna broil him alive. <laughs> Leave me out. <laughs> I hope he has his tanning goggles on. <laughs> here come the deadly fly rod cases. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here to get through this thing called life. Careful, sweetie, no railing. <laughs> Gentlemen, prepare to be super soaked. No one can resist my, uh, things. Rapid deployment system leaves no time to react. And then, yeah, the things are coming out. Come on out, varmint! <laughs> Shouldn't have let Mom make my costume. <laughs> oh. I am saving up such a laugh. He's well cooked. Enough, huh? Right. Steamed Prince of Space or fried in beer battle? Uh -uh. Oh. Prince is alive! Dope, I was hiding here, you Enough of this. When will you ever learn? Your guns won't work on me. <laughs> Shut up. Ah, really a new plan, sir. Fire lasers. Come, come on, movie's over. Let's just let's just let's just go. <laughs> no, it's, it's not. It's not. Come on. Put Debbie on hold for a sec. Sick, angry, a turtle. What? Well, I suppose that's it for me. Yep, I'm dead. Now look. Give up, or I have to kill you. Ah, I can't back that up. No. Oh. Oh. You'll never defeat me. Bye now. Into the giblet mobile. Now's our chance. Come on, follow me. Yes. I have no objective whatsoever. Hey, who's that? What are you calling? Follow me, quickly. Come on, come on, all of you. Just run potty and then we'll go. Okay? Mike, I swear I am never gonna forget what the Japanese did to us with this. Oh, 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 come on, this way. No, wait, look out. Oh, 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 oh ah. not yet. Come this way. No, wait, what? Stop. Oh, ooh, ah. oh, wait, stop this way. Now run. No, wait, come on. Oh, oh look out. Oh, ah. wait, stop. Oh, oh, this is space. Oh, oh, huh? no, oh, stop. Yeah. Hurry, come this way. Oh, wait. wait. Is that the way out? <laughs> of course, come on. Wait, probably it isn't. No, I'll follow you. Wait, Prince of Space. Prince Brothers had more dignity. <laughs> Kid. Oh. Calm down. Calm down? Okay, now panic. Caught like rats in a trap. You'll be safe enough here. I'm leaving for Earth now. But when I come back, I'll have a very special kind of death for you, my dear Prince of Space. Goodbye. So, he has a quick errand before he kills Prince of Space. What? What are you looking at? <laughs> I had a very good reason for not killing him now. He's going to prepare for blast-off in his flagship. And unfortunately, it's the only ship available that will take you back to Earth. Uh -huh. yeah. Now, 
All of you stay close behind me and do exactly what I tell you to do. Oh. Okay, now watch more. There you go. No more. Yes, good watching. Good. My grill lighter is saving us. Oh, we are more interested now. Why is he melting semi-sweet chocolate? Hey, guys, watch this. Watch this. My arthritis. Oh, my spastic colon. Oh, my gout. Oh, my bad knee. Oh, my baldness. Prince of Crossing Guards. <laughs> Would you get back further, you morons? Stop right where you are. I love him. Let's get his autograph. You fools, he's all alone. Oh. Stand where you are. Who's the first man who walks down the ramp will be signing his own death warrant. I booby trapped the whole thing, and your own thorium bombs will blast you into the next world. Oh. Oh. You lie. You can find out pretty easily whether I'm telling you the truth. Look behind you in that corridor. Oh, he's a oh, gross, right on the rug. All right, then, I surrender. They laugh oh. themselves. Oh. Get that, get out of sight. Oh. Capture them for hostages. <laughs> Though no accumulated memory whatsoever. <laughs> Come on. Why don't you try to board your ship? Uh, why, you... Uh, your breath is bad, too. <laughs> oh, 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 Prince, I'm very grateful to see you. Oh. Are you all right? Please. Are you all right? Quiet down. You have a moment to lose. <laughs> Everybody, board the ship right away. What about you? I will stay here till you're safe on your way. What's that? Go on, hurry. Oh. Come on. Yes. Next, the Prince will sew name tags in their underwear. <laughs> a bunch of babies. Yeah, I need those guys like I need another one-inch wiener. <laughs> Keep pushing, men. We're almost out of our atmosphere. <laughs> my coop! My beautiful, beautiful coop! Oh. No. No. We had built this up to code. This never would have happened. Oh, yes, the ancient Japanese tradition of blowing up models at the end of the movie. A blast in East Bedrock claimed the lives of Frederick R. Flintstone and Barnabas Rubble today. And a proud, noble civilization dies out, sometimes. This loser civilization, however, will not be missed. <laughs> Dr. Mackin! Dr. Mackin! I'm wet again. The automatic pilot's working perfectly. Oh. We're on a direct course for Earth. One more. And look there, on the visual screen, the one oh. we owe everything to. Oh. Ah, it's the Prince of Space. <laughs> he wouldn't even let us say thanks. Who knows if we'll ever see him again? Say, we'd better radio ahead. Tell the Earth we're safe that we're coming home. Thanks oh. to Prince of Space. Yeah, 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 yeah. On their own, the giant infant scientists survived another minute and then crashed. <laughs> Meanwhile, all the boots on Earth get duller and less blunt. <laughs> And yet, I feel so empty. You know, this movie made me want to renounce my Toyota. Ah! Oh, it's the end! Oh, oh this movie can't oh, end oh, enough for oh, me! Oh, let's get into space. Oh, ah, this way. What?